Hi everyone. I'm just quickly filling in my brows. Hi everyone. Hi Muskan. Hi Ritu. Hi Juhi. So I'm just waiting for you guys to join a little bit and then I will start with what I am doing here in Oryx page and yeah. Hi, hi Nisha. I'm very, very excited for today. Hi Nidhi. Am I audible? Uh. Am I audible? Okay, so okay, uh, let's do one thing. Uh, okay, so let's start with our makeup. And uh, my name is Andhra Sarkar, as you all know. And uh, hi, hi everyone. I am here on Oryx page because I am going to do a very basic. Uh, everyday kind of a makeup tutorial for beginners which is going to be like a like a great tip for beginners especially if you are looking for a specific makeup tutorial specific makeup skills just for your everyday then this uh, live session is for you because I'm going to show you guys a few techniques what I love to do and how you can get that natural glowy skin as well also that natural everyday kind of a look okay so let's start with first prepping my skin i am going to use my simple moisturizer you can use any moisturizer that you have with you and uh, you can just uh, use your favorite moisturizer according to your skin type and with this moisturizer i am going to use this particular product right over here which is the auric healthy glow makeup base now first of all i'm just going to quickly mention this that i am working with auric for a long time now and uh, i personally really really love this brand and i just i don't know i have a I have a special connection with this brand where I personally love their products and I just feel like they are very, very thoughtful towards their product. Like the product that they are coming up with, especially this newly launched product from Auric. This one is their contour defining kit. And uh, this is such a helpful product, especially for beginners. And that's the reason I'm here today to talk about beginner makeup skills. And this is the product which I am going to mainly focus on because this is a must have if you are a beginner. Okay, so yeah, I am. You can ask me a question if you have any which product to use and what not. They have a very like entire range of products starting from foundation, lipsticks, contour kit. They have different kind of lipsticks, especially their lipsticks. I have two of them with me. I'm using it for such a long time now. And I especially love the fact that they actually think about Indian skin and their skin type as well so okay i'm gonna mix this particular auric healthy glow makeup base flawlessly radiant instant filter it's a beautiful product it is going to give you that glowy makeup base but it does not contain any glitter or shimmer particles in it i have used few products uh 
which like says illuminating primer or something like that but it actually contains so much glitter and so much uh, shimmers and it's not perfect for you every day but this is a product perfect for you every day i'm just going to show you guys the consistency of the this is what it looks like and i'm just going to show you guys how it looks so just look at that it contains a very beautiful sheen to it a very beautiful gold shift to it but it is like so fine so beautiful and i personally love it so what i like to do i like to mix my moisturizer with this particular product to get that extra glow and then i love using it all over my face to get the hydration plus the glow also if you have a dry skin you don't have to worry about your skin getting dry or uh whether you will like see any glitter particles or your skin will look very crusty or something like that because a uh, few illuminating uh, primers or illuminator actually makes your skin look a little bit dry so if you use this product you will actually notice the difference just look at my skin it is looking absolutely glowing and it is giving me such a natural healthy glow i have something on my hair such a natural healthy glow and another thing i love about this product that is you can use this particular product as it is you do not have like some days if you think that you don't want to use foundation use this product and you are good to go okay so now i am i'm really excited to try out this particular product but i am going to use it first i am going to do my base makeup and everything so the second product which is also my another favorite i mentioned this all the time is the auric cover matte foundation this is what it looks like i've used this so much you can totally see by the packaging yeah healthy glow so this is in the shade almond light almond and this is such a perfect shade for me whenever i look for a matte foundation i always reach for this particular product because this is that perfect shade for me it is so warm and i have a warm undertone so i just love this particular product it gives a very beautiful light coverage and you can obviously build this up and make it full coverage if you want to so this is like your perfect everyday kind of a look if you are looking for a good bb cream or a cc cream and you have this product you can actually purchase this and use it if you want and yeah i am going to use this much and i'm going to use it entirely all over my face hi ritika just look at that how beautifully it is blending into my skin and i'm just using a very light hand and i'm just tapping it bouncing it all over my face and it is blending so well such a beautiful product and yeah i'm also going to bring it a little bit downwards as well now look at my base like after using this particular product and then i use this cover matte foundation and now look at my base it is so good this is what it looks like and trust me you don't need anything else for your base for your everyday base and uh, of course use a beauty sponge uh, yeah this foundation is so good hi nisha uh this uh, you obviously for your every day i will recommend you can obviously go with a brush if you want to but take a little amount of product if you are going with a brush because brush will give you a little more coverage than a sponge but if you are going for every day kind of a look go for, go with a beauty sponge and this is how you can achieve that every day soft coverage kind of a look so yeah this is what it looks like now i am um I think I'm going to use a little bit of concealer. So I'm just using my Inside Cosmetics concealer just a little bit because I have dark circles, but if you want to uh if you don't want to use a concealer, use this foundation another layer under your eyes and you are good to go. So I'm just using a little bit 
makeup always start with light hand always start with light amount of product don't go too heavy you can of course build the product afterwards but first only if you use too much product it is going to look like a mess so if you are not sure how much product you're going to take take less amount of product now the product that i'm going to use is this one this one is their auric uh, blend easy compact powder and this is in the shade 1204 yeah loving the finish of the foundation thank you so this is what it looks like it's a very beautiful light compact powder they also have this one but today i am going to use this particular product and why am i going to use this product i am going to just show you this is their new contour defining kit which they have recently launched and this contains one powder matte powder one bronzer contouring shade one blush which is very pretty which is one of my favorite and then they also have a highlighter so what else do you need like if you purchase individual products and just look at the pan size right over here like they are huge you are getting such good amount of product it is actually so 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 beginner friendly the this is also travel friendly as well and look at the packaging it is so sleek so easy so minimal as well it is nothing like it will break or something like that it is so good and i personally feel like you do not need too much product if you are traveling out somewhere or if you are going out somewhere you do not need like too much powder blush contouring you do not need to take too much product you can just take this one and you are good to go so they have mentioned each and everything right over here their ingredients i love how transparent they are towards their customer like they have mentioned each and every single thing over here they have mentioned the, all the ingredients the price and everything and uh, how much quantity of product you are getting so yeah they have also mentioned the product names as well like suppose the powder is called powder matte the bronzer the contour is called earthy contour and the blush is called shimmer dust and then the not the blush the blush is called mystic rose and the shimmer is called shimmer dust so this is what it looks like really really love it for for my uh, base i am going to say this is a best beginner friendly kit that you can ever use just because of the fact that you have so many products right over here so the first product that i'm going to use from this palette is obviously the powder and the price is 15.99 and i think if you purchase each individual product it will cost you a lot more than this so i think a product which is for 15.99 is way too like you are saving way too much if you are purchasing this product and you are getting four products in total so yeah i'm going to take this powder now i'm going to talk about this powder a little bit this is a very lightweight powder and first of all they have made this kit for your everyday for your office going girls for like college going girls people who do not know what product to pick for your every day so this is a product they have made for your every day and how you can actually easily use it on your every day so yeah i'm just going to use the powder the powder is so lightweight it is obviously a matte powder but it is not at all drying i have used matte powders before as well but i sometimes feel like it actually looks very drying right on my under eyes but this particular powder is so lightweight just because it is made for you every day. That's the reason it is like so lightweight and I'm just using it on areas where I feel like it is a um, little bit oily and I feel like I will um, crease a little bit and my foundation or my makeup is going to move. So I just love using it on those areas. And yeah, this is the fact I love about the powder. It is so finely like it is so fine so beautiful perfect for like so soft perfect for you every day perfect for you guys perfect for beginners i'm saying perfect so much <laughs> anyways and now the next product that i'm gonna use is this one right over here this one is earthy contour this is a bronzer shade at a contour shade right over here 
first of all this particular shade uh like you can actually think about like this is go not going to be my shade this is going to be too much warm or too much light or too much cool for my skin but this shade is perfect because this is not so warm not so cool it is that perfect neutral shade bronzer for your everyday because uh, there are so many people who do not love too much warm bronzer there are so many people who love a good warm bronzer i am a person i love a good warm bronzer so yeah i am going to use this particular product and this is also so light it is not something like for the first time if i am a beginner i am going out for my college and i just want to like contour my face a little bit and contouring is something everyone gets so scared of like people are like oh my god contouring i cannot do it but this uh, palette will make you do whatever you don't want to do so this is so lightweight and first when you will use this particular product you will not feel like oh what's that like it is so harsh you will not feel something like that it is so 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 lightweight so light color as well you it is easily blendable so try it out now i am going to show the application so how you have to apply this particular product now i have a round face you have different technique for different face for what bronzer is used bronzer is used to make your face like bronzer and contour first of all they are two different thing contour is something which you do to shape your face and bronzer is something which you use not to shape your face but to like obviously you can shape your face with bronzer but bronzer is something you use just to give your face a little bit of warmth a little bit of color to it like sometimes when we use a light amount of like light foundation which is like too much light for our skin or maybe just a foundation which is like the perfect shade for your skin but whenever you will use that foundation you will feel like oh my god i am missing something i think like it is not looking like makeup it is not looking good what's that like why am i not getting that structured featured kind of a look that's when bronzer comes that's when you can just bronze up your skin a little bit bronze up your cheekbones bronze up your jawline bronze up your nose and everything and you can just give your face a little bit of warmth and you're good to go you will get that beautiful featured kind of a look so that's when you use bronzer but contour is something you do you can use cream contour you can use powder contour anything you want contour is something which you do to shape your face like suppose this is my nose and i want to contour it i will show it how i like to use this particular bronzer this particular earthy contour to contour my nose so yeah first i'm going to show you guys how i like to apply it now for my face i love to go like this i do not go round because i have like huge cheeks so i do not uh, love going at this side because if you have a long face go like this but if you have a face like me which is round enough go like this but don't go too much downward just follow your natural cheekbone area like this is my natural cheekbone area starting from my ears right like this over here this is my natural cheekbone area now if you want to go down or up that's completely up to you now i'm just going to use Now the brush that I'm using is a tapered brush. I love using this one. You can go with the angle brush if you want to. I'm going to show this side with the angle brush as well. So I just for a natural kind of a finish, I love going with a tapered fluffy brush. But if you are going for any kind of occasion, if you want a like good contour for your face, go with the angle brush. It will give you a good like structured kind of a face. But if you want a natural bronzier kind of a look, go with this particular product uh, this particular brush a fluffy brush so i just love to just take it a little bit upward just to get that lifted kind of a look which is like so in trend nowadays and just see how soft this particular bronzer is like it is so soft it is not at all looking i am using any kind of harsh bronzer or something like that i'm again going to use a just a little bit just to show you guys how the, you can just build this product up it is so soft such a pretty bronzer shade i just really really love this particular product like see how pretty that is now i am going to use a angle brush uh, where is my oh my god 
this is like the worst nightmare from me um yeah here it is this is my angle brush as you guys can see it is angled like this so what i am going to do i'm going to take the product just like this and then again i'm going to follow my natural cheekbone and with a very light hand circular motion i'm going to take it upward just to give my face that lifted kind of a look like see so soft it is so natural it is not at all something which is going to look like you have used contour shade or something like that and blending is the key guys make sure you blend it really really well do not just do not use the product do this and this and leave it like that no blend it really really well you can also do this fish uh, face kind of a thing just to uh, make that area more prominent and again i'm going to use a little bit on my jawline as well and then again just a little bit on my forehead this color is like that perfect contour shade it i am a little bit skeptical with my bronzer or contour shade i just feel like um uh, it's going to look too much harsh on my skin but just look at this it is like so pretty it is so beautiful yeah that's it now i'm going to show you guys how i like to do my nose contouring first i have to grab my brush which is right over here and this is a fluffy eyeshadow brush big fluffy eyeshadow brush which i love to use so for my nose contouring so i'm going to take the shade right over here i'm going to dust off the excess just to make it more and more natural and like this i'm just going to follow my natural bone which is right over here and i am just going to like see and just a little bit right over here like see it is not looking something harsh or something bad it is looking like a very beautiful soft nose contour so pretty oh, i just love this particular product now what i like to do i just like to take my sponge this is a quick tip for a very beautiful nose contour take a little bit of powder on your sponge dab the excess now just use it on the bridge of your nose just like that and just make sure you are tapping it and blending it don't move the product here and there blend it right over here just tap it tap it tap it and blend it and now take the other side and blend it again really well look at that difference just look at the difference you have a nose contouring right there now you can also do um some kind of uh, baking and stuff if you want a very uh like featured very structured kind of a look use a little bit of powder from this palette right underneath where you have used your bronzer shade and then you are good to go like it will create a beautiful good tip thank you it will create that beautiful uh, look which is like so pretty it is going to give you that featured kind of a look also if you are going for your wedding and stuff and you don't know what to do with your uh, face and how to bake and how to contour this product is for you it is going to give you like see that area it is going to give you such a beautiful fresh bronzery kind of a bronzery <laughs> fresh bronzer contour kind of a look and it is going to look so like light as well so yeah really really love that and uh, now i am going to use the same bronzer on my eyes i'm going to show you guys a quick eye tutorial as well so i'm going to take the same bronzer with the same brush hi gurpreet and i'm going to use it right over here and just look at that it is giving me such a beautiful transition shade which is so 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 natural looking it is giving me a beautiful color 
all over my eyelid and i forgot to mention i have something for you all at the end of this video like at the end of this live so wait for it don't go anywhere it's going to be really really exciting i have something very exciting for you and you are going to be really happy with it so i'm just going to use it like this if you have this kit what else do you need you have your eyeshadow color right there you have a powder right there you have a contour shade right there you have your blush right there you have a highlighter right there what else do you need this is such a beautiful product or it came up with i really really love that yeah just look at that it's such a pretty flush of color all over your eyelid now i am going to show you guys something extra if you want to do it's completely up to you you can skip it it is not for you every day if you don't want to do it but if you want to do for maybe your office party maybe your college fresher day and maybe your wedding or wedding guest as such you can use this particular blush shade right over here which is a really pretty blush use it over here like this just see the difference it is giving me such a beautiful uh, flush of pink kind of a color it's so pretty looking so good this i'm showing you this just to show you a little bit of trick how you can do a eye makeup look with this particular product just look at that it is so good isn't it so yeah here you have your makeup look i makeup look if you want you can use a little bit of shimmer this shimmer shade right over here which i'm going to swatch i have to swatch it just look at that it is so beautiful i'm going to swatch the blush for you as well oh my god this is so good it is such a it's the name of this is mystic rose and it is a true rose shade i'm going to swatch the bronzer for you as well see how soft this particular bronzer is so pretty now i am going to use the blush uh, okay i was about to use the shimmer shade i forgot uh, so i'm just going to use the shimmer shade and i'm going to use it right over here right on top not here not not on your right not here left side just on the center of your eyes and there you go you have a halo eye makeup look so pretty just right there and just look at that you have such a beautiful eye tutorial right there and isn't it so beautiful like it's so simple so versatile and again i'm going to take the same brush and just uh use it right over here just to make sure everything is blended in together now before i go on with my eyeliner and everything yes i changed the complete look now i am going to use a brush and i'm going to use a blush i'm going to use this blush and uh, yeah obviously make sure you dust off the excess this blush is like the perfect shade for your every day for indian skin especially no matter what skin you have if you have a uh, like fair skin light skin or medium skin or darker skin this product is for you it's such a beautiful blush shade which is so pretty and also i uh, recently filmed one blush collection video where i mentioned about this blush on my page as well so this is such a beautiful blush and i'm just going to use it right over here just right where i have used my bronzer this is the perfect placement for your blush and also you have also another different technique for your blush placement but i like to use it in a lifted way just so my face looks lifted and natural i do not love using blush right over here name this palette this palette is called auric contour defining palette which is right over here and this is how it looks like and you have a shade of bronzer powder highlighter and a blush shade 
So you can get this from Auric website. And yeah, I'm just going to use the blush right over here. I love blush. Price of this product is $1,599. And if you are trying to purchase individual products like from other brands, I think it will cost you a lot. But four products for $1,599 is a big deal. Like it's really, really a good deal. So I'm just going to use the blush over here. Like see, it is giving me a beautiful, fresh look. Like, see, it, it just completely turned my face so beautifully. It just turned my face into a fresh, glowy kind of a look. It just gave me that fresh look instantly. Just the placement of that blush. Such a beautiful blush. And just, just tell me that the blush is so pretty. It looks so beautiful. Anyways, now I am going to go with uh, some eye look. Uh, not eye look. I have already one eye look uh, i am going to use a little bit of eyeliner and kajal now my favorite kajal in this entire world is auric intensive kajal i'm not saying this just because i'm doing live here i'm saying this because i genuinely use their kajal first uh, which is my number one favorite is this uh, white one which is known as auric intensive kajal this is their uh, white kajal right over here i'm going to give you guys a swatch white kajal right there it is so pigmented so creamy such a beautiful color love it then i also love this one from auric this one is midnight blue it's a beautiful blue shade and looks something like this such a pretty color i have to sharp this up a little bit where is my sharpener Love the way you communicate while doing makeup, sharing all the details. Thank you. Oh my god, I where is my sharpener? I just hate my life right now. Okay, anyways, um, thank you so much. I really love how you guys appreciate me. And again, I'm going to use, uh, in this video, I'm going to use the liner, which is the Wingtip Eyeliner from Auric. And this is in the shade Black. And why I'm going to use it? Just look at this eyeliner. Like, blue eyeliner look. Okay, then I have to find out my sharpener. Because I don't know where it is. Yes, got it. I have my sharpener right here, just like any other blogger. My eye pencil is not like it's not sharpened. Anyways, I'm gonna use a blue liner as mentioned by Shilpa. So I'm gonna do a, a blue liner kind of a look. Every girl's crisis right there. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do? You don't have to be like very very precise with this you don't have to do it very neatly or something like this because you are going to uh, blend it out anyway so you need also a smudger brush which you have to use after using this particular look want to see i look with blue and white okay i was about to do an everyday look now you guys want me to do a look with blue and white okay why not now i'm going to use this blue color it is so creamy so beautiful and i'm just lining my eyes just like this and then just look at this like oh my god this is so pretty now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my smudger brush and i am just going to blend out this very soft, softly i'm not going to take it too much upward i'm just going to have that blended in blue kind of a look where the eyeliner will look smoky just like that just look at that it is so good
and you can clean this area with um uh, that concealer with, with your concealer as well blue color is on fire wow yes this is that's the reason i love this now you will see the white color as well so again the same thing and then i am going to take this brush and i am going to use it right there and smoke out this area also i'm taking it a little bit outward so that it looks uh, like a wing as well just a little bit and then so smooth it looks yes it is looking so good Like look at that it is looking so beautiful now if you want to clean up this area of course go with a little bit of concealer and clean that area just like this you can use the powder as well to clean up this area like see it is giving me that perfect wing kind of a finish nice thank you i'm just making it a little bit outward yeah that's perfect you look pretty andra thank you this is a perfect blue wing which you can get with this intensive kajal it is so 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 beautiful now i am going to use mascara and uh, i'm obviously going to curl my lash i think and uh, yeah i have my lash curler i thought i don't have it anyways um i'm going to curl my lash you can of course use some uh, eyelash but today i'm not going to use eyelash i'm going to keep it minimal and natural at the same time and i'm just using my lash curler and i'm going to use mascara and that's it i'm not going to use anything else that's pretty much it now i am going to use my white kajal which is the auric intensive white kajal and i am going to use it on my lower lash line wow you looking amazing thank you which mascara i'm using i'm using this one from pack this one is a no worries mascara now i am going to use the white kajal and i am going to take it all the way i am simply creating one editorial makeup look just because you guys told me to do a blue and white look 
and I'm going to do the same thing over here as well. And I'm just going to take it a little bit more further, just like this. I literally made this eye look <laughs> like it is another level now. Now I am going to use the same looks very pigmented. Yes, it is very, very pigmented. Such a beautiful white kajal. I'm again going to just smudge out this area. And now I am going to use my brush. Hi Devarati. Brush, I'm going to use my mascara. I'm using a lot of mascara on my lower lash line just because I want to make this look a little bit edgy as well. Wow. I literally mentioned that I'm going to do an everyday look. Great everyday look, guys. <laughs> okay, this is what it looks like. I am simply loving it because it is looking so unique and so beautiful at the same time. And yeah, this is what it looks like. And now I am, I'm done with my eyes. I'm not going to use anything else. I'm just going to use a little bit of mascara on my upper eyelash as well. And there you go. This is what my eye look looks like. Now I'm going to use this highlighter from the Contour Defining Palette. And this is such a beautiful highlighter. It's one of my favorite. I am in love with this highlighter. And when I first used this, I fell in love with this particular product. It is such a beautiful everyday kind of a shade. So I'm just going to take this highlighter. I'm going to take my tip or brush, dust off the excess and just use it right there. And also on my brow bone. Such a beautiful highlighter I have ever seen. It's so pretty. perfect for your everyday glowing kind of a look like look at that highlighter it does not contain glitter particles in it which I hate about pressed highlighters sometimes it contains like glitter particles and it looks so bad but this looks really really good and really healthy looking kind of a glowy highlighter loved it now I am going to uh, use the lipstick and I'm just going to remove my lip balm which I have on my lips. 
and I am going to use I have two lip colors from Auric by the way and this is like my favorite lip color I am going to swatch and show it to you this one is the Auric mattifying liquid lipstick and this one is the Auric intensive lip crayon this is when I was in college this used to be my go-to lip color it was so 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 good and uh, and this is the liquid lipstick and this color is so unique it's that olive brown kind of a color nude kind of a color i'm just going to show it to you guys how it actually looks just look at that it's such a unique color i have i haven't seen a color like this and also it is so lightweight as well and once it gets dry it looks so beautiful such a pretty color now I am going to show you guys how this lip crayon looks and I have to sharp this one as well yeah this is what it looks like now look at this shade this is known as summer delight and it's a perfect shade for your summers like it's a summer delight shade just look at this color it, what it is such a beautiful color and I don't know which one to use. So you guys just let me know which one I should use. I should go with this one or I should go with this one. Come on. Let me know which one I should use. I should use this one or I should use the lip crayon. I should use the liquid lipstick or the lip, lip crayon. Which one? Or I should mix both or I should use both. I think I should use both. Olive one. Okay, I have to use it because you guys want me to crayon. Okay, Shilpa is saying olive one, Nidhi is saying crayon, Summer Delight. Nisha is also saying Summer Delight, Sharnali is also saying Summer Delight. Okay, pink lip crayon, mix both. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna mix both of them together and I'm gonna show you guys one by one. So Isn't it just such a unique shade? Like, look at this shade. Isn't it such a unique shade? Such a beautiful shade. I'm just going to let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to use that crayon. Yes, Shilpa, it is such a beautiful color and it's going so well with this look as well. Like, this look is very editorial kind of a look and this lip is going like that perfect combo. Now see, it is dried out completely and it is a beautiful, beautiful color. So pretty. Now I'm going to use the lip crayon which you guys want me to use and I'm going to use it on top of this. Now see, now just see, like, you need this combo. You need this lip combo. What? Like what? This color? And it is absolutely not that drying as well. This too is so good. Like, seriously a game changer. Seriously a game changer. And that's the makeup look you guys made me do that's the makeup look right there like look at that I am in love how it 
actually turned out. And the very exciting thing that I was about to mention, and I am going to mention it right now, is that I have a huge giveaway for you all. A giveaway where you can win like products worth for rupees 2000 and what you have to do obviously there will be a post where everything will be mentioned by auric but i'm just going to mention it to you if you guys are interested in participating this uh, in this giveaway you have to create a look using uh, this particular product which is the contour defining kit and after that uh, we are going to pick winners and after that you have to you will get like products like for 2000 rupees from auric which is great i think you can definitely go for it beautiful thank you awesome that shade turned out so good thank you so much you're looking like an egyptian girl i think so yeah so if you want to participate if you want to participate then uh definitely just uh, go for it. Also, if you use my code, which will be there, this video will be saved uh, in the IGTV as well. So you can check it out as well. And if you want to purchase this product, you will also get 25% off. If you use my code Andhra25, where you will get 25% off in this product. So you can go and easily purchase this product. But purchase this product from Oryx website only. Only if you use their website, only if you... Uh, go to their website and purchase this product then only you can get 25% off uh, so this is for 15.99 so if you use my code antara25 you will get 25% off and after that Andhra will love you I love you too Muskan and uh, yeah go and check out their website purchase this product for uh, like 25% off if you use my code antara25 and purchase this product create a look Tag Auric, tag me, and you will get products worth rupees two thousand if you are the winner. So yeah, and I think if you, if you think like if I don't uh, like win it, then what will happen? You have this kit right over here for twenty five percent off. So you are actually getting some product. Like you are getting this particular kit, and I don't think this is something you should miss. This is such a beautiful product the product seems amazing yes the product is absolutely amazing and if you want to purchase use my code antara25 and you will get 25 percent discount from oryx website only and yeah guys that's it for today's video this is the look that i created and of course you can recreate this look if you want to and you can recreate this look using any other product obviously if you don't have oryx product but you have to create the look using this product you want to give you if you want to win the giveaway and uh, yeah go and check out now use my code antara25 and purchase their product and it will get out of stock very easily i know that so go and purchase this product quickly if you win you will get products worth rupees 2000 so yeah guys i love you guys so much the look has my heart thank you nidhi i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching guys and uh, i will see you guys maybe another love love another live someday and uh, yeah bye